Hello, this is the first in a series of videos I'm doing on easily missed features in Beaver Builder and quick tips and tricks. And in this one, I'm taking a look at how we can make more attractive our save row templates in Beaver Builder. So here is my example. And this is similar to what we find in third party add on packs like Ultimate Add ons for Beaver Builder and Power Pack, but we can do it right out of Beaver Builder itself. There is an article on the knowledge base that covers this, but I just wanted to add what I think is the best image size to use and also how we can order the templates using post attributes. So let me go to the front of this site and show you how things are at the moment. If I go over to the save section here, you'll see I've got my save rows. Anything I'm covering here also applies to save columns and modules. So just note here that the order is one, two, three steps on the top because this is the last one I added and that's how it adds them to the section. So let's change this by going to the back end. And if we go and look under Beaver Builder, we'll find our save rows here. And I clicked into those. And as we can see, our one, two, three steps is on the top. So I'm going to alter these around and add in some featured images. So let me start with this one and I shall go in. Now they all start with the order of zero here, but I'm going to alter this by changing this to one. So that should push it below the one that is also zero. And I'm going to add in my featured image, which I've got here. This has been cropped to 340 by 170. Now there is a note in the knowledge base article that it is two to one. So it could probably work at 180 as well. But I took a look with the inspector and 170 seemed to be the space that I was allowed. So I'm going to save this now and that should fix this. Let's update that. We'll go back to our save rows and into the next one. Let's go and edit this one by just adding, we'll leave the order to zero on this one and we'll go and select a featured image for this update. And if I go back now to the page builder and I do a quick refresh, all being well, we should have the new look in place go back to saved and there we are they're ready for dragging in i hope that was useful i shall be back with a video on how to make our page templates look more attractive thanks for listening if you like this then please give me a like and if you like these kind of videos please consider subscribing to my channel on youtube thanks so much bye bye